This video is sponsored by Royal Match. More on them in a few. Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy Michael Angelo here, bringing you another video. So we're back for some more Bleach after a two-week break. Finally back with some more Thousand Year Blood War episode 22. Last episode was so awesome. Ichigo finally beat the one technique allegations. <laughs> He's got a new move. Getsuga Juji Show, which you guys, thank you so much for letting me know in the comment section. Translates to Moonfang Cross Blast. This is a cross slash. Very, very awesome and super powerful as well. He literally had to tell Candice to dodge, bro. He was absolutely clowning the Bambis. And I think out of all of them, my favorite one is uh, Lil Toto, I believe was her name. Lampert, Stern Reacher G, uh, the Glutton, which thank you guys so much for letting me know their letter uh, what their letters translate to in the comment section um i just love her personality she's just so unbothered and so bored with the entire situation it's so cool man i love it she even called candace a b-word <laughs> she's like calm down bitch it was so funny uh but anyway ichigo also confronted uriu and finally saw him on the other side of the quincy's together with um you know yuhabaha and hashwalt who were preparing to head to the royal palace thanks to ichigo breaking through the 72 layer barrier that's uh put between the royal palace and the Serete. It remains open for about 6,000 seconds, judging from the way Mayuri explained it. And here's my thing, right? There's no way that Squad Zero and Osho and all of them you know, wouldn't have accounted for a backup plan to close that barrier in time, you know, past the 6,000 seconds. Because I feel like there's no way, you know, they would just let the Quincy's or Yuhabaha, you know, go up there, you know, because Yuhabaha's goal is to go after the Soul King now, right? So I don't know. I, I don't know what, you know, so even Mayuri was questioning it. He's like, what the heck are Squad Zero thinking? Like, are they just inviting him to come to come there to the royal palace so that they can throw hands or what exactly is the plan because there's no way they wouldn't have accounted for a counter measure you know to close the barrier in time past the 6,000 seconds you know so anyway i'm excited to see how it's all gonna go also chad and orihime and her outfit my god goddamn uh they came through uh they saved ichigo from uryu's uh, arrows and everything ichigo didn't want to attack him because that's his friend of course so uh yeah he's really just shocked by the whole you know outcome of how uryu uh, has decided to go um to the other side uh you know of the quincy's uh his people after all you know and uh fighting his friends you know so yeah i can't wait to see how things are gonna play out with this particular episode so i've spoken enough without any further ado let's jump right in <laughs> Three, two, one, go. You're no good. The music. Change the music. Damn. Yo. Woo! The impact of that explosion, man. Ooh. Nice one, Nanao. Exactly, that's my... Is, is it his plan? I'm still confused, because there's no way they just let them go to the Royal Palace. What are Squad Zero and Osho planning exactly? I really hope he does have a good reason. Enemies. Exactly. They went together to save Orihime in Weko Bundo. Uryu and Ichigo have been through so much. Even back then, man. He is. <laughs> Bro, the music. Bro, why is Sasuke's voice actor always the betrayal character in every anime? <laughs> Naruto and I'll hear him bleach like, God damn, bro. I have to get him back. God damn, Orihime's outfit is killing me, bro. I love it. <laughs> Just will smack him either way. どうやって行くんだ。え、いい。キスケ。と、人足遅かったみたいっすね。浦原さん。どうしましょう。礼用級への旅行券手配しましょうか。頼む。Okay, so 
As always, Kisuke coming in clutch. Love to see it. He's gonna send Ichigo to the Royal Palace. Okay. Senbon Sakura. Byakuya? Seems so. They wanna go after the Soul King. Guy with the chessboard teeth. Dudu shot off Shunsui's eye. Oh, bro. Are they about to jump Byakuya? Oh. Kumamura. Tetsu Zaimon still protecting him. Yeah, Bosby didn't. <laughs> what? Woo, yo! Renji versus Bosby? Chicken head, wow. Oh, he called him cool razor sharp. <laughs> Oh my god. Good for you, Reggie. <laughs> oh, he's going four now? Yo! Ikaku? And Yumi Chika? They have Giselle cornered. Monkey business. What? Huh? Do you sometimes come home from work or school and are not really sure exactly how to pass the time after a long day? Trust me, I've been there. But don't you worry, the sponsor of today's video is here to save you from that eternity of boredom. And of course, I'm talking about Royal Match. In case you haven't heard about it before, Royal Match is a Match 3 mobile puzzle game in which you help this lovely man right here, King Robert, rebuild and renovate his castle. It's a completely free game with no internet required to play it. You also have a couple of special episodes in there where you attempt to save the king from his nightmares, whether it be him stuck in a water tank or a bunch of dynamite. You have to solve the puzzle in time to be able to save him. I think the dynamite one is my personal favorite. I find it extremely fun. <laughs> and that's not even the best part. Royal Match is an ad-free game. Yup, you heard me right. Ad-free. So you don't have to worry about any ads interrupting your gaming sessions. You can just kick back, relax, and enjoy the puzzles as you rebuild and renovate King Robert's castle as well as save him from the water tank and the bunch of dynamite, which is my favorite, I say again. <laughs> I honestly cannot get enough of this game, man. It has honestly come in clutch, especially after a long day of editing videos, and I just feel super exhausted and I just want to unwind and relax. Royal Match has been there for your boy. Also, on those days when you're kind of feeling lonely and you don't want to play alone, don't even worry. You can join up with a friend and play together as a team. As a team or individually, you can also compete for local or global championships. The game has thousands of levels, unique rewards as well, and endless variety. Plus, not only that, but unique events and ways to progress. Royal Match is the perfect way for you to kick back, relax, and start feeling like the royal that you know you are. <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, <clears throat> so download Royal Match now by using my link in the description. Trust me, you will not regret it. Thank you so much once again to Royal Match for sponsoring today's video. What? She's a dude? If anything, I thought that Lil Toto would be the dude, but she's the dude? No way. Oh, Bambietta's back? Oh, I guess she's okay. Oh, the music. Wait, is she controlling Bambietta? Bro, hold up a second. Time out, bro. I am so shocked right now. So Giselle is a guy? What? Like I said, I thought of anybody. Lil Toto is the one who looks more like a boy than a, a girl, but I guess not. Shocking. So that will take him there? I see. Wow. Wow. is pretty good. So you put on the finishing touches? Okay. He really is. <laughs> Mayuri. He is crazy. Though. He's a crazy genius. Second only to him, of course. Guest. What guest is he talking <gasps> My queen is here, Yoruichi, finally, bro. I have been wondering where she's been. Is she going with them? Oh, our queen is here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's rejoice. Oh, baby girl, Yoruichi. Let's go. 
What the heck is that? Oh, I see. <laughs> bro, I'm so happy to see Yoroichi back, bro. <laughs> Mister. So they're gonna use the distor there's distortions and energy to fire the the cannon. Okay. Damn. Is Giselle controlling Bambietta? Oh. Okay. Let's go, Ikaku. Let's go. Damn. Oh! Woo! Nice, nice, Yumichika! That was close. You could have blown up uh, Ikaku's head. Oh my god, bro. Giselle killed Bambietta and now she's using her as a puppet. That is so messed up. Not only that, but she's a guy! Yo, that's crazy! Unless they're dead, so she killed her. That's messed up. This chick is so messed up. And I thought Bambietta was supposed to be the leader. I guess not. All she has to do is spill her, her blood on them. None of us, thank you. Mayuri? Ah, oh, this is gonna be good. We're gonna see Mayuri in action. God damn, Mayuri is so bright. He's brighter than my future. Blitch marching out the zombies. Okay. That's a nice title card. Okay. Ah, oh, now we're getting into it, bro. This is exciting. Let's go. What? Her what? Does she want her blood? Oh. oh my god. What's the treat? Her blood or? Bro, I genuinely... Okay, I, I feel bad for Bambietta, man. I mean, I know she was a bad guy and all, and she was kind of mean to Kumamura, but nobody deserves to be treated like this, bro. That's so messed up. Oh, bro. He toned down my greatness. <laughs> I toned down his greatness. That's funny. Wow. He's gone. She's ultimate her whole stun deck. Ooh. What is in the suitcase? Three seconds? Are those bombs? Oh. Wait, he's taking them in? Is he storing. Whoa! Okay. He stored her explosions. And use them against damn. That is, bro. I gotta say again, that is so messed up. She's using Bambietta as a shield. Giselle is such a messed up person, bro. Oh. And since like Bambietta's um, you know, explosions are made out of reishi, totally makes sense why this would work. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, here come. Here come the zombie army. Cap, May Mayuri literally, you guys remember Mayuri sacrificed people from the Rukan district in Core 1 to be able to balance things, you know? When Eburn had released a bunch of hollows um, using hollow bait in Core, uh, in core 1. Bro, Mayuri doesn't care. He's gonna, ki he's gonna kick their asses either way. Whoa! Wow! Oh my god! He brought them back? Charlotte Lupi Seruchi Sandarwich, I believe that was her name. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. And Dordani? What? He brought them back? <laughs> Lupi, right? Wow! And of course, Yumichika fought Charlotte. Um. 
Seruchi fought Uriu and Dordani fought uh, Ichigo. Fugly. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no way. Wow. Oh my god, I'm surprised. I, I can't believe they're back. Ichigo is an ear, Dordani. Yeah, she fought Uryu. I can't believe they're back. Oh! So Mayuri has them as, like, dogs? Oh, he stole them from Zayalapuro's vault, I see. Oh, he, he was... He was in fake Karakura town. <laughs> That's crazy. Ooh, bro. They're using the Minazuki. Oh, I see. Here we go. This should be good. They're from Squad 11. Damn. Yamamoto? Damn. Woo! I mean, Mayuri speaking facts. So they actually are dead. Ooh. So zombie versus zombie here. <laughs> this guy, bro. They're both guys. <laughs> Yo, damn. Oh, poor Bambiera. Was he, was he aiming for my Yuri? <laughs> Here come the love beams. The Cero. What? Cero has such a long name, bro. What? <laughs> Is that to- no, that can't be. Oh my god! So the person, when Toshiro was done fighting, oh man, when he was done fighting, Sang Du, somebody came towards him, a shadow. We saw like the, 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 the shadow of somebody, but we never got to see who it was. So it actually was Giselle? Oh man, you're kidding. You're kidding me. No way. Is it gonna end? Oh. Oh, what's the poem? Mayuri? Sounded like Mayuri. Marching out the zombies. Part two, I guess? Okay. I can't believe it, bro. So the shadow figure that came towards Toshido when he was done fighting Sang Du was actually Giselle, man. Ah, yo, I guess she spilled some of her blood on him and now she's controlling uh, him. So this is this is going to be a problem, especially now that he has his ho his Bankai back and it's holified, no less. This could be trouble. This could be very, very troublesome. But uh, I, I guess we're just going to have to see how Mayuri handles this one. But I'm so shocked that he brought back Charlotte uh, Seruchi Sandorwich. You know, hopefully I'm saying her second name right. It's a very difficult name to say. Uh, Lupi as well as Jordani. That was shocking to me. Um, and there's zombies too. So goddamn, you know, touche Mayuri. <laughs> he, he said if you can't beat him, join him practically you know so anyway yeah but this is a solid solid episode um i can't wait to see how things play out in the next one and uh yeah overall i'm just very much enjoying my journey with this also yoroichi's back love to see it i can't wait to see how she pops off she wasn't in core one at all so uh since she's heading with uh ichigo and the crew to the royal palace that's gonna be awesome to see it kind of reminds me of how uh, you know she accompanied them to the soul society the first time and everything back when they were coming through uh you know 
uh, to save Rukia and everything. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see how things play out. But, uh, guys, that's it for my reaction. If you did enjoy it, I really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to the channel. It really does help out a lot. Also, give it a thumbs up for the hype of Bleach. I'd super appreciate that as well. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my free reaction videos, live streams, or walkthroughs. You can also feel free to follow me on my social media, Twitter and Instagram. Links to that will be down below in the description of this particular video. You can also feel free to join our Discord. Link to that will be down below in the description of this particular video as well. You can also feel free to become a Patreon or a channel member by clicking the link down below in the description of this particular video to support your boy. And you always get a shout out in every single one of my videos. But uh, until then, guys, please do me a favor. Take care of each other. Have a lovely Saturday. Peace out. And I'll see you guys next time.